Hey everybody, Bill in Virginia. And today, just a short video, doing a uh, hobby shop shout out. Uh, as those that follow me know, I have mentioned this particular hobby shop a couple of times, Caboose Stop Hobby, Cedar Falls, Iowa. Uh, it's a hobby shop that I have been frequenting literally since the 1980s. Uh, they've been around one form or another since the 1970s and uh, there is a fair amount of equipment on both the N scale and HO scale layouts that uh, came from that hobby shop, uh, mostly from a period in the 1990s when I worked uh, not too far away from it, and I would stop in there several times a week and usually did not come out empty-handed. So this particular box has a load of freight cars that I purchased from them. Now, you know, I'm a big advocate of uh, brick and mortar and uh, patronizing local hobby shops. And this one is no different, but they've come up with uh, something that's a little unique and I've not seen it before. Not to say that other hobby shops have not been doing it, but uh, what they do is on Wednesday nights, they do three live streams. One that covers HO equipment, another one that covers N scale equipment, and then a third that covers O scale equipment. They are half hour shows, but for the show that as they're showing different things, all you have to do is uh, if you see something that they're showing and they've got the prices on it and they, they move kind of quick, you just come into the comments section and you say, I'd like this. You know, I'd like uh, that freight car or that uh, B&N, uh, you know, box car, uh, that building kit, that detail part. You know, it, it's really pretty cool. It's not a bidding process. It's just first come, first serve. Whoever says they want something, they get it. Uh, the first one that makes it into the comments. So uh, I'm going to unbox this and show you what I got. I spent a little over a hundred bucks for everything that's in this box but uh, you'll see it. I'm going to include in uh, the description in this video the link to their website. It gives some information, but really if you're interested in stuff, I encourage you to visit one of their live streams on Wednesday evenings. Uh, I'm on the East Coast and they start at, uh, what is it, eight o'clock my time, so seven o'clock central. Uh, you know, just kind of watch for a few minutes and you're gonna get a feel for what's going on. Uh, if you put in that, you know, hey, you want something or you want this, you want that, uh, all you have to do is just ask, they'll get it, and then the next day you call in and you, uh, you know, provide your name, uh, you know, you buy it off of credit card and uh, they will ship it to you. You know, they'd prefer, you know, not to just get a very small item uh, because it costs, you know, shipping, you know, you buy enough that it makes it worth everybody's while to ship it, but let's see what we got in here. Ah, uh, the nemesis of anything that you buy online, packing peanuts. I will have to get another container and get rid of them. But you notice, very well packed, cardboard over materials. And then uh, even more packed, there's the receipt uh, from my card purchase. So uh, next shot's going to have all of this stuff on the table here. So very well packed uh, materials in here. And then uh, I had an envelope in there that had my receipt and it also had uh, a couple of things, a, a little KD coupler. And this really pretty cool pen that they threw in. Like I said, I had spent a fair amount of money. It's got a little built-in ruler, uh, metric and inches. And then uh, Kaboo Stop Hobbies with their phone number and their email ad or their uh, website actually. So pretty cool. So let's dig out what I bought. To be honest with you, I'm not even sure how many cars it was. I uh, seen in some flats that uh, they were going over that they had Rock Island equipment. Now, as you know, on uh, my layouts, I run Pennsylvania. I really love the Pensy, but I grew up next to a Rock Island branch line in uh, Independence, Iowa. So I would see the Rock Island rolling through town about once a day and uh, you know, I, I love the equipment. So every once in a while, I'm gonna run some Rock Island on my HO scale for switching, but uh, let's dig this stuff out and uh, take a look. So there's what I had in the box. 
I ended up with uh, 10 Rock Island freight cars and five Rock Island cabooses. So uh, let's uh, continue the unpack and uh, just take a look at the cars. All right, here is my uh, Rock Island purchase from uh, Caboose Stop Hobby, Cedar Falls, Iowa. So all freight cars were $6. They came from a gentleman's collection. Uh, it's the same collection uh, that uh, I noted in my last video. Uh, those cars I picked up when I was there. These I picked up by watching the live stream and saying I wanted them. So the uh, freight cars were $6, and they have a lot of other freight cars. And probably, uh, you know, upcoming shows, they will continue to have some. So some decent stuff. The uh, cabooses were $8 a piece. I do have a little bit of work to do. I figured out where that coupler came from. That came from uh, this car, and then a few other couplers came off in transit. Uh, smokestack came off, a little uh, super glue, and that'll take care of that. But all in all, I am extremely happy, and I'm really looking forward to running this one. This one appears to be lighted. So uh, I'm gonna have some fun with it. Let's see, what's the brand on this? Oh, Lifelike. Wow, actually that looks pretty nice. Uh, I'm familiar with the Lifelike equipment from the 1970s. I really haven't gotten a whole lot lately. So uh, yeah, I'll put that on the track and we'll see what happens. Looks good though. So I'm quite happy. So again, look in the description, uh, go to their website, uh, the live streams, Wednesday night. Again, uh, if you see something that they're showing, if you want it, be the first person to note in the comments that you want to take it, give enough uh, information so they know who you are and what you're interested in. Also, you know, you, you want to buy enough uh, so that it's worthwhile for shipping. I ordered, uh, or I got a couple of things from uh, the last uh, live stream they did, talked to uh, Carol at the hobby shop. It was a couple of items, low dollar amount, so they're just gonna hold it there until I buy some more and makes it worthwhile to do uh, a larger ship. But they've got everything. So again, I usually don't do shout outs, except for this particular hobby shop. Because uh, again, they, they got everything. So that's it for now. Keep having fun on your model railroads. Until next time. Bill in Virginia.